Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to show you how to use your PlayStation 4 controller with your PlayStation Vita uh, and the PS4 remote play. If you're the kind of person that thinks that why do you need to play your PlayStation 4 games on Furious Vita, uh, this video is not for you. I'm not going to be able to help you, so sorry. You can obviously just close the, the page. If you are looking to do that, then yeah, this is for you. Um, I find it very, very useful. If you actually do use uh, the remote player around your house uh, and you want to use the PlayStation 4 controller, it's gonna be it's gonna be this is gonna he be helpful for helpful for you. Now, of course, you're gonna need your PlayStation 4 controller and your PlayStation 4 to be able to remote play. You're gonna need that, and uh, you're also going to need either another memory card or just to create another account which anyways you need to do it now if you do have a memory card um if you do have a mem memory card you don't have to follow these next steps if you have two memory cards i'm sorry if you have two memory cards one that you don't use and one that you use just grab the one you don't use and then follow the steps uh, that i'm gonna do in a bit uh if you only have one memory card then you're gonna want to follow these next steps right now so you have to make sure you have Content Manager installed on your PC, and it and it has to be running as well. And you make sure well, it's obviously installed on the PlayStation Vita. But when you start it, you're gonna see this right here. Um, if you don't have Content Manager on PC, but you do have a PS3, you can just connect to PS3. So when you open Content Manager, you're gonna go to Copy, and it's gonna start connecting to whatever system you have it connected to. I have connected to my PC, as you can see right here. And um, you have to and you're gonna see a few options right here. You're gonna go scroll down and, and go where it says backup utility. When you go to backup utility, uh, you're gonna press back, back up and you are on your primary account on PlayStation Network. I am not on the Vita because I've done this before and uh, I just wanted to skip that. But you're gonna back up it's gonna close all the applications and it's gonna start backing up your PlayStation Vita. When you do back up your PlayStation Vita, if you do it on your PC or, or, or in your PS3, uh, when it's done, you can reassure yourself by going to, rest uh, I'm sorry, to going to restore and you're gonna see a file right there with a date. That's gonna be the backup of your PlayStation Vita. It doesn't show right now on mine because I'm not on the backed up, on, on the, um, I'm not on the, uh, what's it called? I'm not on the main account that I backed up, so it doesn't show right here. But once you do that, once you're done backing up and you're 100% sure that you back up your, your settings, you're gonna want to turn off your PlayStation Vita and then enter on the uh, safe mode. The safe mode is very easy to get into. You're gonna press the power button, the PlayStation button, and the right trigger. And it should work in a bit, and then after that, it's gonna appear right there. There you go, that's your save mode. You're gonna want to go to format memory card. I'm sorry, no, no, no. You're gonna want to go to uh, restore this this system. That's option number four. You're gonna want to go to that one. That way you can clean your whole memory card because the PlayStation Vita only allows one account per memory card. So you want to completely erase that. You're gonna want to completely erase that. Just make sure you have your account set up if you don't own a second memory card. If you own a second memory card, uh, you can just do this step right here, starting right here, and you'll be fine. Just make sure you do restore and all of that. After that, um, you, you're you gonna have to set up your PlayStation Vita again. You're gonna have to set it up. You're gonna have to put in all the settings. You're gonna have to put in your Wi-Fi information and all of that. After that, you're gonna have to come to PlayStation Network and you're gonna sign in. It's gonna ask it's if you were using a different memory card. I mean, if you were using a different account on that memory card, it's gonna ask you to wipe the memory card to um to be able to sign in into the new one. But make sure you are signing into the new one. I'm actually signing into my secondary account. So as you can see, it says Unity ELT2. My main account is Unity ELT. Um, so if you haven't done so. Go on your PlayStation 4, create a new account, create a new user, create a new account. 
uh, enter your email, your password, and that's what the that secondary account, secondary account is the one you're gonna use to log in your PlayStation Vita. Now that you're done with the PlayStation Vita, we're gonna move to the PlayStation 4 area. Okay, so let's do that. All right, for your PlayStation 4 side, you're gonna want to, uh, of course, log in into your secondary account, the, the same one that you're using on your PlayStation Vita right now. So right now I'm on my primary account on my PlayStation 4, as you can see. Uh, you're gonna want to switch user. If you haven't created a secondary user, um, just make a new user, log in with the same account that you're logged in in your PlayStation Vita. That, uh, that, uh, that is very important to do. So this is my main account, and this is my secondary. So I go to Luis S over here, and um, to connect to your PlayStation Vita, you're gonna want to uh, go to settings, uh, go to uh, remote play, and you're gonna add a device on your PlayStation Vita. You're gonna want to uh, connect to connect to. Um, on your PlayStation Vita, you want to go to PlayStation 4 link. So after you already registered your PlayStation Vita with the secondary account, uh, you're going to want to go to uh, remote uh, remote play or PlayStation link. That's what it's called here on, on this little thing. It's called rem it's called the link instead. So click on that. Click on that. You're going to start it. And of course, if you're already familiar with this, you're going to see two options, remote play and second screen. So you go to remote play and it's going to connect to your secondary account, which is now the prim primary account in my, in my side of the screen. You know, it's my primary account now, but I still use, I still don't use it only for this. Now, the trick is that every time you try to use a PlayStation 4 controller, the primary account would lock and you can only use the PlayStation Vita as a remote. So since you have your PlayStation Vita set up for a primary account and the PlayStation 4 is an app and I mean, I'm sorry, you have the PlayStation Vita set up on a secondary account and you have your PlayStation 4 on a secondary account, the PlayStation 4 controller, it's programmed for the first, as the first, uh, for the first account, for the making account. So you got your PlayStation 4 controller and as you can see, I'm controlling my, my PlayStation with my Vita, right? And as you can see right here, my PlayStation 4 is it's turned off. Let me show you that really quick. So it's turned off, right? It's turned off. You're gonna turn it on. You're gonna turn it on. It's gonna ask you, what do you wanna sign in with? Because you're telling the PlayStation 4 to the PlayStation 4 controller to sign in. Uh, you already logged in into this account. If I log in into this account, The uh, if you, if I look into the same account with my PlayStation 4 controller, the PlayStation Vita disconnects from 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 the PlayStation 4. So that's one of the things that always happens. That's why you can use your your main account. That's why you need a secondary account. That's why you need to be logged in into your secondary account to be able to use your main account. So as you can see, it goes back to the main account. And again, my PlayStation 4 controller turns off right away when I log in into that account. I turn it on again, right? Turn it on again, and it's gonna ask me, what user do you wanna log into? I'm logging into this, which is my, which is my secondary, but I wanna use my main account. When you do that, your PlayStation 4 controller stays on because this one is programmed to be on this account, and it's still not usable, right? Because you still logged in into the secondary account. Secondary account, so it's telling you right there, place the PlayStation button controller to continue. So you do that, and automatically changes to my main, my primary account. And as you can see now, I'm using my PlayStation 4 controller to control my PlayStation Vita uh, remote play pretty much. Uh, in this case, you can actually use the PlayStation Vita as a, se as a second screen or as a uh, alternative screen to play your, your games. Uh, if you don't find this useful, uh, this bit is not for you, I'm pretty sure. But if you do want to do this, if you for some reason can't play in the TV and you want to keep playing, then this is the way to go right here. So it might seem a little complicated. It does take a little, a little time to do, but um, it's it's worth it. Just remember, just create. It's actually very simple. If you have an extra memory card, just wipe it up, wipe it off. Like you just completely clean it and create a secondary account on your Vita. Create another account on your PlayStation Four. 
log in with this name, register your PlayStation Vita with that account, and start playing. Uh, that's pretty much all you have to do. Uh, if you don't have another memory card and you only have one like I do, just make sure you back up with Content Manager before so you don't lose all the stuff that you had in case you want to go back. Um, do that and then follow the next steps, which is creating a secondary account on both devices and you're going to be good. You're going to be able to log in into that useless account <laughs> and then log in with your controller into your premier account to be able to use the controller. If you have, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I will be able to answer them and uh, stay posted for the next video. I really hope this was useful for you guys and I try to be as clear as I could. And if you th guys didn't understand some of the things I said, just let me know in the comment section. I will be happy to answer you all those questions. If you did find the video useful, just, um, um, you know, press the like button and subscribe if, if you think I have, you know, worried. You know, if you, th if you think I have uh, good enough videos for you guys. But well, thank you very much again. And stay posted for more. Bye-bye.